Hello everyone, I'm Kevin Hens. And I'm Cadillac 409. And uh, we're back to this puzzle. Somehow this crazy asshole figured out the solution off screen. I have no idea. I didn't help him, by the way. Yes. I was about to say, and I think I forgot it, but I think it was 9875. Yes. Okay. Because basically what you're supposed to do is you cover three of the lights and then pay attention to what the one light does, and then from there on you see what you have to see each light separately, like each light oh! four times in a row, and you just pay attention to when it is on or when it is off, and then you move on to the next one and do the same. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Basically, what we ended up doing is we take we took the whole sequence, and I kind of like Frankenstein to code together from that one. We just took like the whole sequence. I read like, an off, explanation. Off, on, on. I read an explanation saying it cycles through four different things. Each light cycles through four different Yeah, lights. okay, That's I read it, I, either they worded it really badly or I read it incorrectly, which is why I said what I said before, because I genuinely didn't know how you saw it, but I looked up a guide. Yeah, I didn't look up, I didn't end up looking at the guide, though, I ended up figuring it out somehow, but... Oh, shit, no, wait, seven, five was the last one. Yeah, it's seven, five. Nine... Alrighty. Did you hear something? So this is the unlocking device. This is the unlocking device to the unlocking device. We're using gimmicks that were already used to conserve energy. Uh, that? Yeah. Okay. You just insert the USB stick. Um. If I could get the little clip. Okay. Oh! Ding, 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 ding. Yay! It looks like we cleared it! <laughs> With our powers combined, we were able to clear the life threatening game! And become Captain Planet! <laughs> and become Captain Planet! Who cares about clearing it? Why does, it, why does the exit feel like it's not opening? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean it won't open? Oh my god. <laughs> 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 I see what that bastard did. Yes. <laughs> oh, I'm such a devil on time. Are you serious? It's not opening. Didn't I just tell you that? Yes. It's not just the exit. Even the door we entered from is an opening. Maybe the game isn't over yet. Is there any chance that thing I found earlier was just joking around? It seems like you have something on your mind. Um, um, when I first arrived in this room, I received a letter. A letter? I'm I thought sorry. it was just a prank, so I didn't have a chance to tell you. Even enough of the excuses. Hurry up and show it to me. Um, uh, yes, it's this. Solve the mystery of the final dead room, and you will obtain the right to play the life-threatening game. About the life-threatening game, it's the life-threatening roulette. P.S. You are held liable for setting the roulette's difficulty. Depending on the difficulty, I prepared special prizes, but make sure you don't overdo yourself. I just realized he's going to be able to do it because he's lucky, so okay, yeah, I see where this is going. Hmm, I see, so what it meant... Um, um, what does it mean? It means the games up until now were just the opening act. From this point on, this is the real performance. Huh? Life threatening roulette, it's probably like a Russian roulette. I see, a gun came out of there. Which means I have to use that to play Russian roulette, right? Russian roulette? Then, allow me. You can't! No matter what, it's too dangerous! Hey, mon ami, there's something I wanted to ask you. In all honesty, I don't really understand the rules of Russian Roulette. Ah, if that's the case, load one bullet into the cylinder and then spin it. After that, point the gun toward you and pull the trigger. You Wait, you can't do that! There's a 1 in 6 chance you'll die! 1 in 6 chance of death, which means the failure rate is only 1 in 6. Hey, is that rule really okay? Huh? I mean, if there was only a 1 in 6 chance of failing, wouldn't the game be too easy? Shouldn't it be the opposite? Remove one bullet from the gun and then use it while there are still five bullets loaded? 
could do that, it would be a one in six chance of success. And then I can use my plot convenience powers to win! Yeah. Yep, that would definitely make it a more, th more thrilling game. Sorry, I really can't do that voice. Yes. <laughs> what are you saying? Let's give it a go. Hold on, Nagito! What are you doing? What am I doing? Playing Russian roulette, obviously. I've only removed one hole. So there's only a one in six chance that I'll survive. You, you can't! Please stop! It's not much of a talent, but even I have an ultimate level talent, you know? I'm the ultimate lucky stupid. It blows his brains out anyways, game ends. But if I can't win when there's only a one in six chance of success, then what kind of ultimate talent is that? I mean, if my luck gets me killed like this, there's no way you can really call that talent. If I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive you. Is that right? Please, stop! Ah, it's town just now. That was the door I'm knocking, right? <laughs> Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Nagito? Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should just be on that door. I'm thinking, like, I don't think anybody else has the insane amount of luck required to do that. Assuming that the, the good prize only came if you did the six bullets, yeah. or, or minus one. Which means the only one who could take a bullet to the face would be Nekomaru. Yeah. So that's... Interesting. Oh, I didn't read my line, I think. So okay. this is the octagon, huh? What a distorted room! Congratulations, Nagato! <laughs> He's here! Congratulations on clearing the final dead room! You even challenged yourself at the highest difficulty with a one six chance of success! Here. I have a muzzled present for someone like you! Now then, this first. Is this the Future Foundation's file? I oh yep. Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh huh. Well, just think of this as an extension of that. Extension. Hey hey, you! What are you giving without permission? Let's see. And now uh, one more special prize. Here you go. It's Chris. Is this who Peak Academies? <laughs> That's right. This file. It contains your student profiles from the time from your time at Hope's Peak Academy, meaning they're profiles that you guys don't even remember. What time at Hope's Peak Academy, huh? After all this time, I still can't believe it. What? You mean the matter concerning your stone school memories? I mean, a no good person like me actually spend time with everyone else at Hope's Peak Academy. No. That's impossible. That's clearly fucking possible. You got accepted. That's true. How did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed for myself of being in the presence of such greatness. Mm. Jeez, when you're all beat up depressed, I still don't understand you at all. God, me too. You're speaking for all of us. <laughs> we, we all live the human condition, but that man is speaking, speaking it. it. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, I'm passing this along to you. How do you use it up to you? Thanks. I'll take a look at it later. So, if I look at these profiles, I'll be able to find out what Hajime's hidden talent is, too. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay! Someone like me was finally useful. <laughs> what are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you, who has obtained Hope Stick Academy soon profiles. I'm not sure you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? What? Looks like things are going to get interesting. Yes, Nagito, you might be the one who might who makes things much more interesting. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Like. Anyway, Monami. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played Russian roulette yet. Um, but Nagito already did it. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. Get over here! Revenge of the final dead room! Coercion! Jeez, dear. Gone. In the end, I still don't understand what Monica was talking about, but for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It... It's not like I know how to get out of here. There's a window. A window? I clicked that by accident. Why oh, is there only one window in a place like this? Some kind of hidden meaning to it. In actuality, what could it mean? In my mind, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly towards the window. And then, the moment I peeked out of that window... Huh? This is... The action that starts at that window was... It's completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see. So that's what it was. It's outside the window. If I started piecing it together and think about it, yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a larger perspective of the funhouse with this. You know, I know what the reveal is, and it's not that funny. I don't know why he's got that reaction. Oh, floor hatch. Also, like, four fridges. There's a door on the floor. What Dr. Seuss bullshit is this? <laughs> Isn't this the first law of the strawberry house? It's at least on the ground. Based on the sketch, there shouldn't have been a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond this door. Ha 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 ha. Things are finally getting interesting. Not just a fridge. A refrigerator? Here? I wasn't expecting to find drinks in it, but when I opened the door and peeked inside... I see. There are poison stored in there. You could secretly kill everyone with poison, and... a way, it can be considered the most powerful weapon. But in that case, you'd have to ignore the rules. <sighs> okay, it's gonna get interesting. Yeah, but first let's look at the hammer. Oh, okay. I see, there are lots of firearms here too. The Handguns and grenade launchers, even. Amazing! So I expect there's a place that cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks, I arrived here. All the separate pieces that seem to have connected to one fell swoop. A chain reaction culminating in the truth! Thanks to just one clue. Oh, I know that's not the time to be enjoying things, but this definitely is a good feeling. Especially that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I. Realize the mystery of the ultimate weapon in the fun house. Now all I have to do is tell everyone about this. Before I do that, I should finally take a look at that file I received from Monokuma. Especially if it's everyone's student profiles for the time at Host Week Academy. That's important. Kasha opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? So that he really is Makoto. Hey, hey, can you hear me? Can you hear Hajime, me? Hajime, can you hear me? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, uh, did you say something? Well, it's been about two hours since we spoke to Fuyuhiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if we were split up before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So what are you gonna do? You're right, I'm worried about them too. Let's start calling the strawberry arrows one more time. Yeah, that's a great idea, I think. Oh! Oh fuck, here we go. And then suddenly here he is! Huh? Do you have a reaction to that? Huh? Why is he here? Hello there. Well, hello there, Hajime. N Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported? That's stupid. Huh? <laughs> okay. Yes? Alright then. Hey, answer me seriously. How are you able to come to this side? Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is? I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. 
I gave you the details first. That's very this up. Being abruptly interrupted by Nagito. Check and I learned about the results of the investigation of Strawberry House. I guess these were pretty important. Especially the fact that in Strawberry House, everybody in Strawberry House heard that rumbling noise too. But what's this about the wall fox alarm going off before that happens? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth noting. Hey. Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room. Huh? You did the life-threatening game? Oh, and you didn't die? It wasn't life-threatening at all. It's a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian roulette? It's a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it toward you, and pull the trigger. So, you really did it. Man. Ah, uh, so... That's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would've been fine if I only used one bullet. I guess I was just, uh, as Manuel said. Huh? Huh? Actually... I misunderstood and thought that I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, and that's how I did Why it. Why are you lying about that? Th that you only had a one in six chance of surviving. But I'm alive, after all. The only good thing about me is how lucky I am. What's wrong with him? He was strange from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal... It's crazy. That's all there is to it. Anyway, um... Because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. One of those rights was the freedom to move between the Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play that game again. Move back and forth? Why should you able to do that? And how? Hey, Hajime. You've been repeating yourself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> anyway, I'm definitely lucky, so thanks to that I was able to clear the red to the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize as my reward. That's the future foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation? There's even more detailed information about the killing school life that was in the earlier file. Killing school life? You mean the killings that took place at Hope's Peak Academy, right? As I recall, Biakia was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> but, even we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There's information about the order of killings and who the killer was for each incident. I found it extremely boring to read about deaths of people I didn't even know. Right. Besides, Byakia, of course. Then it's just as I thought, that Byakia was the Byakia we knew, right? Right. However, I can say the information... I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are similarities between the Killing School life and this Killing School trip. Similarities? For example, the first murder involved someone important getting stabbed to death in an unexpected place. Hey. Even though, I don't know if you really would consider, other than to Makoto, to, like, Sayaka to be that important of a person in the group as a whole. What the, the, there is, it's like, it is the character you're going to be most attached to at yes. that point. That's basically what he's saying. Yes. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer among the group. Except that wasn't- I said that was just a farce. Yes. <laughs> and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Hey. What do you guys think about these strange similarities? Are you saying- are you saying that- Oh, I see where you're going with this. Okay. If that means that the fourth case is a similarity, then I know who killed Nakamaru. Himself. <sighs> yeah, okay. If that's if that's where we're going with this, then... Uh, what do you guys think about these strange similarities? It's definitely strange. I can't think of these as coincidences, especially if Monokuma is behind the notice and driving the murders. 
Mm. What are you trying to say? Hey. By the way, uh, the fourth murder of the killing school life was apparently ruled a suicide. Huh? <laughs> what did that mean? That means something or not is something each person should think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth. Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez. Jeez, your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I want you to. T I won't t want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is too. Huh? Well, well, that fire wasn't the only one I received from Monokuma. I'm bracing myself here. This is another one. Th that seal. Yep. Indeed, it is the Hope Peak Academy school crest. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. J just mine. Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right. But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Host Week Academy? Man. In a way, it's just as Chiaki said. Hajime's existence is special. Because you were just some reserve course student from the reserve department. Well, unlike the primary department for the main core students who possess the ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve core students who enter the school through basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hope Peak Academy's revenue stream. Reserve department? Substitute? Second string. Revenue stream? What is he saying? Like I said, to be a reserve student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pay a rather costly entry fee and tuition. And with the funds obtained from these exams, the Academy can fo focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Through this, the Symbols of hope can be raised, Isn't that right? which means you're just a step ladder. But you should feel honored. An average, talented human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? Have you simply been determined enough that you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to attend Host Peak Academy? Or maybe. You were just obsessed with Host Peak Academy like a fangirl following the latest trend. And you're not?! It's not like that, I... Stop. ...wanted to become Hope. Is that what you're trying, what you're thinking? Just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talent and strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have that, or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? Motherfucker! You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had any talent to begin with. And nobody who forgot he was a Nobody. That's all. Then, I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent. Whatsoever. But I... Don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. Oh, I feel sorry for you. No, you don't! Are you shocked to learn that you were the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, think about it positively. The, looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. I know where you're going with this. Something now that we know who you are, a, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student, 
There's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? How about you? Survivor of the previous killing school life, Biakia, would have been the most likely candidate. But now that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, are you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well, it may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaru's murder first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyway. In that case, would the traitor be among those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey. You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the Octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the only one who cleared that room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtained as I see fit, right? Are you planning to keep it a secret? Are you planning to side with the killer again? Man. Like I said, I'm not on the killer's side. That hasn't changed since it began. How many times must I repeat myself? I just want hope to shine ever brighter. What you're saying doesn't make any sense at all. Just tell us already. Tell us about the ultimate weapon. Jeez. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right, I did go to a place that seemed to be the Octagon, and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name. Ultimate weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Stop. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. <laughs> Stop. What did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now it's not the time for us to be fighting anyway. But if you won't tell us, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we go back to investigating Mechamaru's case? We better hurry. The glass trial is gonna start soon. You're right. You're right. I haven't even seen the crime scene yet. Also, the guys in the strawberry house should be coming over this side any moment. Bye now. Then I'll read it. I'll go on ahead. Hey, hey, Hajime. It's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on that Kamara's case right now, right? It's true that I'm shocked, but now's not the time for me to feel that. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. <laughs> I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Isn't that right? Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. We should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on the Kamaru's case. Oh, okay. Actually, do you have anything else to say about that whole- Oh, okay. I was gonna go back to talk to you, but I guess you won't even let I me back. I can talk to you from here. It's okay. I know you're angry right now. I don't want you throwing any chairs. <laughs> or your, like, mouse pad thing. <laughs> I have, like, a um, little pillow thing that you put on your lap so the computer doesn't burn you. And I was like, ah, I was about to throw it. She was about to throw it, and I, it stopped her. <sighs> we, should, we should go back to Mechamaru's investigation, too. The class trial will start if we don't hurry. Alright. Level. God. Oh, hello. <laughs> Makes sense for the boyfriend. I have returned from the depths of hell. Yo, Gundam. Yo. Yo. Sorry, we're late. Hey. Just so you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey, hey. Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out here. <laughs> More importantly, Kazuichi, did you? Look into that matter I asked you about. Huh? Well, the thing about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. I didn't ask for your opinion, just tell me the results! <laughs> well, the compass neither rotated 180 degrees or you felt riding in the elevator. The needle rotated 180 degrees. <laughs> I see, it's just as I thought. Huh? What do you mean by that? 
Well, obviously, the elevator most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. Now then. Now then, I should go investigate Nikomaru's body. As if we were tumbling, thumbing his nose at us. Now he's begin making his way toward the Great Tower. Oh my! What's wrong with him? I don't think him pith off or something. Okay, so what do you know? How much do you know? Hello, Gundam, you're right up in my face. <laughs> Foo ha 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 ha! I've made you wait! Judgment. Time has come to destroy all murderous illusions! Did I talk to the boys from uh, Strawberry House? Yeah, oh. I was, gonna say, I was heading for Fuyuhiko, but I forgot where he was. Damn right! Nekamaru should be inside Great Tower. Yeah. I'll go on ahead. We were a little late. I, I would like it if the lag would stop. Hmm. Something like came over here. I checked this first, but it looked like the panel definitely was definitely forced open. Elevator panel? Hey. Um, it might be better if uh, I explain how the elevator was broken, huh? No, I heard the gist of it from Nagito. They broke the elevator by tampering with the safety device, right? Right. Oh, looks like we're trouble fast. Take all that panel over there. Just as I thought. Looks like they forced open the panel and changed the settings by tampering with a safety device. Definitely looks like the panel was forced open. Which means the elevator was broken at Grape House. Mm. Hello. Hey, hey. I guess Nagito is like a tardy detective. What are you talking about? See? It's a trope in mystery games. They always come to this crime scene late just to make an important discovery and piss everyone off. But they can never reach the truth of the case. They just end up feeding the main character's assumptions. Yep. Well, in Nagito's case, he's not the type to feed anyone. He'll just make things even more complicated. That's true. Such a troublesome person. Lately, I feel like he's been acting weirder than usual. Well, I don't think a new discovery is bad, though. We might be able to find something we completely overlooked. Mm. Not someone agrees with me. I really wish this high encoding would stop. Every two seconds. We're gonna be out of here soon, don't worry. Are you serious? Well, like I'm horror. Are you serious? Damn it! Damn it! I don't know who did this, but this is pretty fucked up! Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on, we need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Oh. No, you haven't. Just sell something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Nikon is no longer with us, we can't perform an autopsy. Right. But Kazuichi should be able to disassemble the body, right? Huh? Is that true? Are you going to disassemble Nakamaru's body? I won't forget. So don't screw with me! Hasn't Coach Nakamaru been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Akane. Maybe you just don't care about what happened to Nakamaru. Why oh, you? You stay quiet. If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not to interfere so much. Ah! Oh, he's becoming a real fucking asshole. I know. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, Damn it. Fine. I thought they'd do it, right? Oh, I thought I wanted to see the hidden thighs, but not like this. This is too much. Well. Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space! I get to. I feel like something's wrong with you. I mean, more so than usual. I thought it was just treating me differently ever since he found out I have no talent, but. Since it's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now too. Why? Damn it! Come so far. No way I can get sentimental at a time like this. Kill off of a Nakamaru, bud. Not the theory if we're gonna find out the truth behind this guy. Force his voice through his clenched teeth. Kazuichi faced Nakamaru, his eyes full of determination, as he begins to stab against tool knife into Nakamaru's body. Huh? Where'd you get that tool knife? Magido gave it to me. I thought it already had it before we even went to the emotion park. So, Magito did that too. It's like, Magito has full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage to his head is the reason. Huh? The reason Nekomaru died. I mean, it's not functioning. 
The torso is covered in huge dents, and its pants, its parts are dislocated. Its pants too. <laughs> Maybe a gear staff broke too. Well, for now, it's not disassembling Nekomaru's chest. That should help us learn something, right? Yeah, time of death. If that's the case. We should need to look at Nekomaru's body one more time. Apparently, Kazuichi's finished disassembling Nekomaru's body. I should probably check it out one more time. Aha! Just as I thought. Nekomaru's chest panel is open. The clock inside is completely exposed. Hence, the clock looks like they're pointing to 7.30. Also, it looks like the clock's alarm was set for 7.30 a.m. Which means the clock broke at the moment it started ringing at 7 a.m.? 7.30 a.m.? But 7.30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, we should have arrived at Great Tower just before 7 a.m. for Monokuma Tai Chi. Is the clock malfunctioning? Wait. This is a highly efficient radio clock! Radio clock? It's not a clock that receives a radio signal, so it can all about the updated times and fixed intervals. Simply put, it's an extremely accurate clock. That's right! It's a clock that will never slow down! It's even designed so it cannot be adjusted! Huh! <sighs> I've become a Time Lord! Well, even if it's an accurate clock, they didn't need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't have to wear a wristwatch ever again! There's nothing more useful than this! Like your radio clock never slows down, huh? If that's the case, what if the broken clock says 7.30 a.m.? Ah, <laughs> uh, I think I see what happens. Somebody messed with all the other clocks. And somehow, like... And, my, and Monokuma was just like, Oh, everybody skipped out of my Tai Chi class. Because that's, that's why he would have said that. And like, okay, this is the thing This is the thing that I noticed earlier that really bothered me. How did... Okay, so like, we know Nagito knows everything. Yeah. But like, when, when uh, Fuyuhiko had only mentioned the alarm went off, Nagito already was like, Oh, you should check the clocks in the other... Blah, blah, blah. Like, how did he already know that? Yeah. That's... How did you already know that? Yeah, I don't... God, I hate him if you can't tell already! Yeah. He's just obnoxious! Already, I guess. I don't understand how he knows everything! I guess that's it. What's wrong with him? He's crushing over Necker's bar Mars body, almost like he's clearing at him. Please don't molest the body. I uh, didn't mean to talk about Kazuchi. Look up there, it's head to breathe and dog. Okay, yeah. Use them, don't fling, don't fling, don't fling, torch the clock. You're the worst. Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue, I swear you're just the worst. When did we become worse than you all of a sudden? As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well, I found this another fragment of the pillar that tipped over. Is this a doorknob? You don't even know? It looks like the screws came out with it. That wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there are scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Don't you think it's strange? See? Examine the far back door in the great tower, the doorknob is still intact, right? Don't you mention it. You're right. No. If that's the case, where did this doorknob come from? The door leads to Strawberry Hall, then. There's only one other possibility. It'd have to be the door connected to the great hall we entered from, right? But it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> We should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't know? To get a bit of Strawberry House and enter the Strawberry Tower from Strawberry Hall. That's the only way we can see the other side of the door, right? But the button to open Strawberry Hall is broken, right? It's obvious. We can just repair it. After all, we have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door in Strawberry Hall. I can repair if it's broken, but... I don't have enough parts, and something I can do about it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here. That's awful! Huh? See? Just use Nekamaru. I'm sure if you dig through his body, you can find parts you can use. But hold on! Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? It's called recycling! It's a much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? Junk? Hey. Well, Kazuichi, 
Is it impossible or impossible? Like you said, I could probably use the parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? Or at least the Strawberry Hall has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you use a button on Strawberry Hall sides, the door won't open as long as that chain is there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry. What does that mean? Because we should, we should go over the Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. I'm gonna sit my ass down and stay here. So you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. Tensei's saying that, I guess I left the area. What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Who knows? Damn. Ah, that reminds me. Nakito asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It had something to do with how the elevator spins 180 degrees. I wonder what that could mean. Hey. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagito asked me to do something really weird, too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both buildings. The clocks? I... So I did what he said and checked them all, but none of the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But why did he ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get that bastard at all. So now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower, too? Along with the doorknob matter, there are so many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve one of those- some of those mysteries. Maybe. Jeez. Looks like that's all we can do. Let's head over. You're right. Like I said about the door opening, what's he planning to do about the chain? Looks like it won't come off easily, so it's not going to have a plan or something? Jeez, I don't understand this at all. Let's just leave. Everybody. Oh my god, this lag, it's terrible. It's because we should elevate working right now. Alright, let's go. Wow. Okay. Foreshadowing? No. <laughs> Walked into the elevator. Made away to the strawberry house. Who knows if I come to the strawberry house? What's up? Hey, you're here! Hey, hey, Gazuichi. How did the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, though. I'll be able to fix it right away. You got a lot of nerve saying that when you use Negamura's parts without my permission. Hey, hey. Well, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyway, now that we're all here, why don't we just hurry up and try it out? What would happen if you pressed the button to Strawberry Hall's door? But there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. But does it, like, turn upside hey. down? The door to Strawberry- I'm sorry, I thought that said, uh, Kazuichi. Yeah. The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nakamaru's body was blocked off by that chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the other side. <laughs> well, we'll know if we try it out. It's not even worth trying out! No, we've all come this far. If he's saying we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yep. Yeah, that'd be great. Whoa, okay. And everything started shaking. I like how you're all just piled up in this. I got the pig too. Speaking of which, I should check on my pet. Oh, you pooped. Okay. Actually, you need to poop more because then your despair will go up. Well, let's go to the door. It's not right, this door will open. Not when the other side is chained up. Feeling of resignation, I press the button. Huh? Why did it open? Impossible! Impossible! Where'd the chain go? Hold on a sec. That's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. There's no other way to say it. Stuff one looks weird. Okay, so the room inside spins. I got it. What do you mean? Huh? Hey, doesn't this all look the same as when we were in Grape Tower? Yeah, you're right. We're inside Grape Tower. Nakamura's body was in the front of the far back door. His body should be in front of the door of Strawberry Hall. So we enter from Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walk in. 
fight. It didn't like that. Why is Nakamura's body in front of the grave? Oh, does everything but the elevator and the tower change? Okay. I, I shrugged. Okay, that's why the elevator wouldn't be... Okay. Why is Nakamura's body in front of the grave door and the door of the grave to the hall? Hey, hey. Look at that. Pull the parts I carefully arranged when I did them with the body, I'll move too. The body isn't the only thing that moved. Even the tripped over pillar and the spilled oil. They've all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how he saw the answer from Grape Hall. He was at the crime scene as like Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. Rotated 180 degrees, right? Can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but. Is that really what this means? More than that? There's even a greater mystery here. Mystery so great that it could drastically affect the outcome of the case. Like the fact that uh, the killer probably was from Strawberry Hall, not Grape Hall. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. I see. The chain disappeared. The strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, as I thought, I was definitely the right choice to confirm it. Just as you thought? Then you already knew about this mystery? I know everything, Hajime! You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? That door at the far back with a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden on it. Clue on that door? Like the fact that it's missing a porn up, obviously. There is a picture of the grape on it. it. Should lead to Grape Hall. Wait, huh? One of the doorknobs is gone. But the screws came off with it. Now then. It's the same as the doorknob that was on the floor. See? See, the screws came right out with it, right? Then the doorknob next to Nakamura's body came off the Grape Hall. And that's what it looks like. I mean, he said clue. You were talking about this, but what is it a clue to? What? Huh? Did you get even more confused? <laughs> no need to worry, just one clue will change everything. Huh? All the mysteries will be solved as everything will link together if you can reach it, just like I did. What does that mean? I asked him, Nagito probably wouldn't give me an answer. Good waste of time to ask. Ding dong, bing bong. It appears that it's time for the class trial. Oh god. To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired. I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already. Um, I think that's dying. <laughs> yeah, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy. I just want to ditch. <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it, I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take Not this so. seriously. Clearly. It's like it's going to start. Not our class trial. Hey, hey! What? How are we supposed to get to the trial ground? You're right. We can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Hmm? Hmm. hmm. Uh, Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey! No, well, did you guys hear something? Hear something? Hey, hey! What did you hear this time? Suddenly, the cutting Chiaki off Chiaki, our surroundings started to shake and rumble. Then, it suddenly appeared before us. <laughs> Alright then. <laughs> <laughs> Is he telling us to go inside from here? Seems that way. Oh, no. Alright, I'm gonna go! Just hold on, Nakamaru. I'll make sure I avenge you! Jeez, Jeez at least be a little more cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree. I detect the scent of danger. Even my familiars are saying, do not go inside! How oh, interesting. If you can kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. 
Oh, ha 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 ha! Now then, we shall get going as well. Yep. Yeah, you're right. Uh, that's annoying, but if Methodonia's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Oh, that's so damn annoying! I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. One by one, everyone went to Demonicuma Rock. Until I was the only one left. I was about to take a step forward. We're the same. The same step ladders. Huh? Nagato was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on Monokuma Rock. Watering the small movements of his mouth, he was perfectly still. You and I are just step ladders. For everyone who holds the title of Ultimate. I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time, and from that, true hope would be born. I always believed the talent that survived would be true hope. But it wasn't. There is no hope amidst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hopes come from killing people? What? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't really the hope? No, but you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm gonna accept that. Oh well, it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyway. Hey. There's this one novel I like. It's a Peculiar mystery story. Novel? The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial killer mystery. But when you get to the end, <laughs> surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer. Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a projection of the reader and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from one topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. No good at all. Such a normal answer. I should have expected that for a talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but. I know that you don't matter at all, so why do I care about you? You admire hope. I love hope. Right. In some ways we're similar, but maybe that difference is what's making me so emotional. Enough already! I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go! Everyone's waiting! Man. Everyone, huh? You still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. <laughs> My ghost chilling laugh continued as he disappeared in the monocle of a rock. Calm down. That's right. I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths and once my nerves had settled, I stepped inside Monokuma Rock. The elevator shook violently at the center at an ever increasing speed. Hey. Wonder a normal elevator to take this bad. Might see how efficient that elevator in a fun house was. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought that's like sorry. Yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continued to shake and descend deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped, like it always does. Much like this video. <laughs> because I'm gonna thank you guys all for watching. And I'll see you guys all next time when we're going to start the fourth class trial. So for now, I'm going to say goodbye. Bye!